Hola mis amigos, we're making air fried radishes with bacon. For today's video, we are going to be using the Alpha Elite Air Fryer Oven by Aki Home. This oven has a capacity of 5.8 quarts and one of its big features is the 120 degree viewing window, which can be seen right along the top here. And this air fryer opens differently than many of the other air fryers that you might have seen by using a push button here to lift the device open, which we will take a look at that here in a moment. And as far as features, it says that it is an eight in one device and here actually is their quick start guide i love when electronics come with a quick start guide it tells you just the basics that you need to know to quickly get started and here are the eight functions so here are actually the button functions we have max crisp air fry air broil air grill air roast bake dehydrate and reheat but of course we all know with air fryers you can do so many other things so eight and one kind of sums it up but really it's just an insurmountable amount of things that you can do with these so as i was saying this does open a little bit differently here we press this button and lift up and there we have it so here is the inner pot now the way that this works instead of having a basket with a handle like many other air fryers you actually have two side handles so you can literally pick this up like a pot and inside here we have i forget the terminology that they use i think they said it's a crisper plate or something like that i'll have to check in the instructions but basically if you're going to be air frying something you would place this right in and then you'd close your device and all of the buttons and stuff are on top. And I am going to zoom you in to show you what that looks like when we actually go ahead and get started with the bacon. Okay, so I have washed the inner basket as well as, by the way, this is actually called a nonstick grill plate. So I did go ahead and wash this as well. And whenever I am air frying, I don't typically wash the air fryer every time in between uses because I'm always air frying something. I use my air fryers almost daily. But since I am going to be cooking bacon and our recipe actually is going to be using some of the bacon fat, I am going to always start with a clean basket or base of the air fryer to collect all of that bacon fat and store it. I actually like to store my bacon fat in a jar by the stove, but I'm also going to be collecting and using all of the bacon fat in this recipe for this recipe. So I say all of that to say, make sure you are starting with a clean device. So I would have been washing this anyway, since this is going to be for the first use. So, with that being said, to get started with the recipe, we are going to be frying a couple pieces of bacon. Um, now, this recipe is not going to have any actual measurements. Most of it's going to be eyeballed and to taste, but it is going to be delicious. So, I'm going to be working with some hickory smoked bacon, and one tip that you can do in the air fryer is to actually twist your bacon because it allows you to fit more into such a small space. So for example, here I have a slice of bacon and we're just going to twist, twist, twist. And I try to go for as tightly as I can get it. It is going to kind of unravel, but um, as we put more in the basket, we will have more support for each strip. So as you can see, that really narrows each strip but they're still gonna come out just as good. Next slice, twist, twist, twist. And you can even have the strips touching. You don't have to worry about if they're separated. Everything is going to crisp up just fine, or at least in the air fryers I've tried it in so far. So we're going to have to kind of decide. This is going to be sort of our 
test for this recipe as we have done in the past with using eggs. So I am just going to continue to twist and place a few bacon strips and then we will return to start cooking. We are back and with the twisted method, we can see here that we have managed to get eight slices of bacon in here, which we would not have been able to do if we had them all flat. So now we are all set to render this fat, cook up our bacon and get started. So I'm just going to close the top of the air fryer and lock that in. And let's get you to the top so that we can start cooking. Okay, we are back and we are zoomed in to the top of the machine here and I have plugged it in and once we plugged it in, we have the start and stop button that illuminated for us to let us know that we do have power. So at this point, we are going to go ahead and see if we can maneuver our way through the menu to cook our bacon. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am not a fan of limp bacon at all. I have to have my bacon nice and crispy. And besides, we do want to render all of that fat for our recipe today. So we do want to try to cook off um, as much of that fat as possible. So with that being said, I air fry my bacon at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes and that usually gets it perfect for me to the exact crispness that I like it. But if you like yours a little less crisp, then you can cook yours on uh, a lower time. But again, we're going to be going for 10 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So to start here, we are going to hit our start and stop button here and instantly all of the options lit up and right now we are on max crisp, but we want to get over to air fry, which is the next one. So I'm going to press menu and that puts us at air fry. But as I said, I do want to go to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to up the temperature here by pressing this button. We're at 400 and now over here for time, we're going for 10 minutes. And then we just press start again to get started. And we are off. So we are going to see you in 10 minutes with our crispy bacon. Once we started the device, it instantly lit up on the inside so that we can see through our 120 degree viewing window. Isn't that pretty cool? I actually like this one because it's a combination of having sort of that all-in-one toaster oven type device that you can see through and actually having a basket because honestly my favorite air fryers are the ones with the basket so this one is definitely the best of both worlds i actually really enjoy being able to see the food as it cooks we are back and let's take a look at what we have very nice and crispy bacon. Again, this might be too crispy to your tastes, but to me, this is just right. Now, this time around, 10 minutes didn't do it for me, but 15 minutes did, and that's going to depend on a lot of different variables, your cut of bacon being one of them. This one seemed to be pretty fatty, as you can see, because my bacon did shrink down quite a bit. So, what we are going to do now is take out the bacon and we are going to set it aside so that we can get access to that bacon fat. Here's a little bit of a close up for you of what our bacon looks like using the twisted bacon method. And as you can see and probably hear, it is equally as crispy. And my dog is right here going crazy for this bacon so I just might have to give him a piece. But yeah, this method definitely works in this air fryer and this is how I cook my bacon all the time. I have removed that inner tray so that you can see the fat that we rendered. Look at all that nice gold. If you're on a low carb diet, you know that this is keto gold. So this is about just enough for our recipe. So let's go ahead and continue on with our radishes. 
Okay, so here I have two pounds of red radishes. And as you know, on the keto diet, you really want to stay away from potatoes, unfortunately, but the craving definitely does show up. And I'm going to show you how we are actually going to make these taste fantastic, just like potatoes. I mean, look at them. They already look like little red potatoes. All we need to do is to pump these guys up with the flavor to get rid of that radish taste. Now, when you actually fry these up, that radish taste sort of cooks away and then it takes on whatever flavor that you are seasoning these with and that is going to give us that sort of potato taste. So I'm going to be flavoring these nice and simple, of course, using the bacon fat that we just rendered. So let me go and grab that. And we are simply going to drizzle that right over. Don't worry about any pan drippings or anything like that. That is all flavor. So, do not reject it. Nice bacon goodness. And that seems to be just about enough for the amount of radishes that I have. Because again, remember we're eyeballing this recipe. You just kind of add everything until it looks good. And next we are going to season this to taste with whatever you like. But I am going to be going with Cajun seasoning because I like to have the red potatoes with bacon and Cajun seasoning. It makes sort of a nice breakfast or even a dinner. Sometimes I'll throw some sausage or something in it and I'm really craving that I haven't had that in years. So anyway, this is some Cajun seasoning, multi-purpose seasoning of course, has salt, has garlic, and all that other good stuff in there. And then we're just going to toss this in. Remember that bacon fat was hot, but it's actually just fine right now. And if you feel that you need more seasoning, definitely go for it. I think I am going to add a little bit. That was about, oh, maybe half a teaspoon or a teaspoon, but I am going to add a little bit more to that right now. And I think that is going to do it for us. So now I'm just going to put that grill plate back into the air fryer. So, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not even paying attention to the camera. I'm moving you all over the place. Um, I'm going to put the grill plate back into the air fryer and we're just gonna toss this right in and cook it up for about 20 minutes at, again, 400 degrees. So basically whatever temperature you would usually use in an air fryer to cook potatoes, we're going to treat these the same and cook it at that same temperature and time. So 20 minutes in the air fryer and here we go. Look at the radishes go. So they are in the air fryer now for 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And they did quite crowd the basket, so they may take a little bit longer than that, but I will let you know how long it takes. Just to make sure that halfway through the cook time, so at 10 minutes, we will shake up the basket to make sure everything cooks nice and evenly and hopefully return to some very delicious potato tasting radishes. We are back and let's take a look at the radishes. You just want to cook them until they are fork or toothpick tender. Let's get that focus here. There we are. So I'm just going to poke it with a toothpick and that has the tenderness. It went straight through that we want just like we would find in a potato. So if you want, you can cook this a little bit longer if you want more of a crisp to it. But for me, this is exactly where we want it to be. So I'm just going to put this in a bowl so that we can now introduce it to our bacon. I have now transferred the radishes into the bowl. So now all we are going to do is just break up our bacon and add that 
right in. And that is going to complete this dish. I have actually been slow roasting a pork butt in the oven all day. So this is actually going to be the side dish for that. So once you've gotten all your bacon added, we're just going to toss this up. And that's all that there is to it. I almost forgot we are missing something. I added some freeze dried chives to this. Um, of course, fresh would be better, but I don't have any on hand, but I always like to keep some freeze dried on me. And we're just going to toss this and sort of recoat this in the remaining bacon fat and reintroduce everything. And that is our side dish. Special thanks to Aki Home for allowing us to try out the Alpha Elite Air Fryer Oven. It is definitely a fantastic fryer. I would totally recommend this. And I will have all of the links and information in the description box below for you to check it out. Air fried radishes with bacon. Enjoy, and I'll see you at the dinner table.